Hello and welcome back to Good Ship. It's Jed, your trusted cruise ship guide, and today we're going to be taking a look around the Carnival Firenze. The Carnival Firenze is the newest addition to Carnival's fun Italian style fleet, and we'll be joining the Carnival Venezia. Firenze is bursting with Italian flair and is totally different to any other ship in the mainline Carnival fleet. Firenze is a Vista class cruise ship with a length of 323 meters and a gross tonnage of around 135,000 tonnes. She is served by a crew of 1,200 and has a maximum guest capacity of about 5,200 guests. Kicking off this tour on Deck 15 is the adults only Serenity Deck, featuring a variety of seating, including private cabanas and plush sunbeds. You can also find the Spritz Bar and Fresh Creations in this area. Heading to Deck 12 forward is the home of the ship's fitness centre and Cloud9 Spa. A standout feature of the gym on this class of cruise ship is the fantastic panoramic views over the bow of the ship. Moving outside from the spa and fitness centre, you will come across Carnival Waterworks. This is a fairly substantial water park with multiple water slides and water features. The fun doesn't stop here on Deck 12 because if you head towards Midships, you will also find Firenze's mini golf course and access to the ship's ropes course. The ropes course is a star feature on this class of ship and one of my favourite activities if you're not too scared of heights. At the very end of deck 12, you can find two undercover patio areas with comfy seating and foosball as well. Located on Deck 11 is the upper deck of the Seaside Theatre and Lido Pool. This part of the ship is covered by a sliding glass roof to suit all weather conditions. So even if the weather is not so great, you can still take a dip. You can also find the Il Mercado Sandwich Bar and Pagola Bar. Both venues are surrounded by plush seating and Tuscan style alfresco settings. At the aft of Deck 11 is a large sports court and staircase access to the Vasilia Pool and Bar down on Deck 10. Moving on down to the public spaces on Deck 10, you will come across the Lido Pool, which features a variety of venues. It's also home to many of the deck parties that the Carnival Fun Squad are famous for throwing. On the starboard side of the Lido Pool, you can find Java Blue Cafe, and Guy's Burger Joint. Opposite to the Java Blue Cafe and Guy's Burger Joint is the Rococo Bar and Tomodoro. Both Tomodoro and Guy's Burger Joint are situated at the entrance to the Lido Marketplace, which is the buffet on Carnival Firenze. There's two buffet stations featured in the Lido Marketplace, and once again you'll find heavy Tuscan theming with retro Italian artworks and cafe style seating.
Exiting the Lido Marketplace will have you arriving at the Basilia Pool and Bar area. There's two whirlpools located here, flanking the central main pool. You can also find Pizzeria del Capitano and the Seafood Shack located here. Alrighty, it's time to head down to the depths of the Carnival Frenze and check out the public spaces on decks 5, 4 and 3. Located on deck 5 forward is the upper level of the Teatro Rosso Theatre. The theatre is a perfect example of the decadent Italian stylings that are found throughout Firenze. The great room is dominated by a series of sparkling chandeliers that will have you transported to a grand European palace in no time. Heading into the heart of the ship, you will find the upper level of the ship's piazza atrium. Located on this level of the atrium is a variety of retail venues and the Cloud9 Salon. As you move further towards the aft of the ship, you will encounter the piano bar, bonsai teppanyaki, the steakhouse, and bonsai sushi. Up next is the Amari Bar, Frizzante Bar, and El Viaggio. This leads into the Pixels Gallery and the Tuscan Lounge. There is also access to the lanai along the length of deck 5. And finally, at the aft of deck 5, you can find the motor bar and lounge. This area is also home to the Terrazzo Suites and Private Terrazzo Deck.
Deck 4 forward is home to the lower level of the Teatro Rosso Theatre. Moving aft from the theatre, you can find the middle floor of the atrium. Located here are a variety of shops and the cherry on top candy bar. Next up is the Firenze Casino, which spans the entire width of the ship. Because of this design, you will have to pass through the casino when transiting from the aft of the ship to the piazza and vice versa. Once again, heading towards the aft of the ship, you will move past the ship's dedicated Heroes Bar and Art Gallery. These venues are located next to the Limelight Lounge, which also doubles as a ship's nightclub in the evenings. Aft of the Limelight Lounge, you can find the upper level of the Michelangelo main dining room complete with its very own statue of David. The Italian design is most notable in this part of the ship, which features many extravagant features influenced by the rich architectural history of Italy. Finally, moving on to Deck 3, you will have access to both guest services and the shore excursion office. These venues are located on the lower level of the atrium. Firenze's atrium bar can also be found in the heart of the atrium here on Deck 3. There is also access to the Medici dining room from the piazza. Deck 3 aft is also home to the lower level of the Michelangelo dining room. However, please note that there is only access to the main dining room by the Deck 4 R stair and elevator lobby. This is because of the galley layout on Firenze. Well, that wraps up the tour of the public spaces that can be found on Carnival Firenze. As always, thank you so much for stopping by Good Ship Cruising. I appreciate you so much for choosing my channel today. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give a like or comment, or even better, you can subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest Good Ship content. Until next time, happy sailing.